It's Miss Steyer. I'm back today with Brad. Hello. And we are here to talk to you about everything we've learned about plants. So this is our last day we're going to think about plants. So we're going to go over the life cycle and then we're going to review the different parts of the plants and we're going to see some actual parts of the plants that we eat. So let's get started. Brad's going to tell you about the life cycle. All right. So it starts with the seeds. And then it go, the seeds go in the ground, and then it gets the right water and nutrients. It sprouts out of the ground, and after more growing with sunlight, water, and nutrients, it becomes a flower. And then, with more water and nutrients, it becomes a mature plant. Super. So, that was the life cycle of the plant, and like Brad said, we learned that a plant needs sun, water and nutrients from the soil and soil is just that fancy word for dirt to grow so we learned that a plant has lots of different parts it has the flower the seeds the stem the leaves and the roots and they have lots of different jobs which we talked about and what we're going to do today is we're going to look at some different parts of the plant that we eat because believe it or not we eat all the different parts of the plant. So some of the parts of the plant that we eat grow above the ground, above the ground, and some grow below the ground. We eat things that grow below the ground and above the ground. And we're going to see some examples of those right now. So let's get started with the things that grow below the ground. I'm going to show you a couple of examples and some pictures and Brad's going to put them up so we can see all the different parts of the plants that we eat. So we're going to get started with the root. This is a plant that grows under the ground. This part is the root of the plant. It's the part that we eat. So this part is the root. It grows under the ground. This part grows above the ground, but the part that we eat is not this green stuff that grows above the ground. It is this orange part that grows below the ground. And what is this? Do you know what this is? Usually you don't have the green part, right, when you eat it. What is this? Right, it's a carrot, and this is how it looks. The whole plant with the leaves and the stem and the root. We eat the root. So these are some other, so here's the carrot. Brad, can you put that below the ground with the roots? We also eat radishes that grow below the ground. And we eat potatoes. Potatoes are roots of the potato plant that grow below the ground. Now there are lots of parts of the flower, the plant that we eat that grow above the ground. So we eat leaves of the plants. This is, these are leaves that we eat. Do you know what this is? So if this were in the ground, we cut it off so that we can eat it, but it had roots and it had other parts, but these are the leaves. What is this? It's lettuce. I use it to make a salad. And that is the leaf of the plant. So Brad's going to put our lettuce leaf by the leaf. Thank you. Perfect. And these are another food. Have you ever had Brussels sprouts? Brussels sprouts are delicious and they are the leaves of a plant also. And the next thing we're going to think about is this stem. We said the job of this stem is to hold the plants up tall and to bring the nutrients throughout the plant. This is an example of a stem that we eat. You can see it has some leaves, but when I use this, I don't eat the leaves. I just eat the stem. So if I were going to take this part of this plant, it has the stem and it has some leaves. There are roots down here. Do you know what this is? It 
celery. I chop it up and I put it in my salad. You can even put peanut butter in it. It's delicious. So Brad's gonna put the celery by the stem. And another food that's a stem is asparagus. Have you ever had asparagus? I love asparagus. Brad does not love asparagus. <laughs> okay, so we're getting to the flower of the plant. So not every plant looks like this. There are other flowers that look very different. This is a flower of a plant. Do you know what this is? This is cauliflower. So I know a lot of you eat broccoli at school. That's the flower of a plant too. This just sort of looks like a white broccoli, doesn't it? It's cauliflower and it is the flower of a plant. So Brad's gonna put cauliflower up. Perfect. And like I said, broccoli, which I know a lot of you eat, you say it looks like a tall tree? That's because it's part of a plant. It's the flower of the plant, the broccoli. Now, in here are some seeds. I have an example of a seed that I'm going to show you. So when you look at it here, it does not really look like a seed. But if you crack that open like this, inside you can see the seed. It's a green bean seed. So green beans are the seeds. We eat the seeds of green beans. They look like that. This is another yummy seed. It's corn. Corn is really a seed. It's the seed of the plant. And this is one of Brad's favorite seeds to eat. Sunflower seeds, that's the seed of the plant. And then we have some other parts of the plant is the fruit. So that's within the um, flower part of the plant. I have two examples of fruit that I know you like to eat, an apple and an orange. They are the fruit of the plant. So Brad's gonna put the orange just on the side is fine, Brad and the apple. Here are some other things that are the fruit of the plant. What are they? Mm-hmm, they're delicious. Strawberries. And the last one is, what fruit is that of the plant? A banana. 